Hi, hello hey, everyone. Hi. Welcome to Matex video session part one. I'm Reiko from Admin. I'm Hideto Fujita, a sales manager of the company. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. In this video, which is divided into three sessions, we'll explain the features and advantages of Matex planetary gear mm. and points when selecting the gear. Yeah. In the first video, we will explain what the planetary gear is. And in the second, we will explain the features of Matex planetary gear. Then, in the last session, part three, we will explain how to choose the gear. The link to each video is available in the description below. Please check it. If you like this video, then please give it some up. It motivates us a lot. Okay, then first of all, Fujita-san, can you explain what is a planetary gear? Okay, thank you, Reiko. Planetary gear is a speed reducer or a torque amplifier which have several gear parts. Uh, gears rotate around this center gear and this status, uh, this motion is very similar to our solar system. Uh, the Earth go around, goes around the Sun. That's why this gear is called planetary gear. Uh, planetary gear consists of uh, several gear parts called sun gear here and planetary gears and internal gear and carrier for both sides. Okay, so can you explain what is the advantage of planetary gear? Okay. Uh, there are several advantages uh, for planetary gear. So the most important point is uh, compact and high torque. Uh, compared to usual screw gear, uh, screw gear is the most simple uh, gear uh, structure. And compared to screw gear, uh, planetary gear have the coaxial structure, input and output have same axis. Uh, thanks to this structure, uh, you, uh, a customer, uh, can realize their product uh, very small, compact. Uh, also, uh, the planetary gear hard because uh, also, sorry, sorry. gear have uh, three or four gear parts, and the, the planetary gear transfer the torque. Uh, via the, the three uh, four years. Uh, thanks to this, uh, uh, planetary gear can have three times or four times higher torque than uh, spool gear. Spool gear uh, have only one part to transfer the torque, this part. Uh, or the, if the uh, same material is used for both spool gear and planetary gear. Then uh, uh, to transfer the same torque, uh, planetary gear can have thinner, thinner wide gear wise. So it's good to also it is good to realize a compact uh, product. This is the most important uh, point compared to the usual spool gear. Uh, other than that, uh, uh, the good point on the planetary gear is the variation of the usage of the gears. Uh, Spool gear can only drive and input and output only one back and, back and forth, two patterns only, though so, uh, planetary gear have another uh, or the variation of how to use, how to drive the gears. This model, this model is a model to explain the variation of the drive, uh, how to drive. Uh, you see, this handle, this handle is connected to sun gear. Uh, this handle is connected to carrier. 
a gear. And this handle is connected to internal gear. And uh, most uh, normal uh, popular usage is fixing internal gear. Fi now I'm fixing the internal gear like this, mm -hmm. like this. And give the input from some gear. Then the carrier rotate like this. So uh, you can take output from carrier. Uh, you see the slower speed than the sun gear. Uh, this model, this model have the speed ratio four. So uh, the, the carrier have the speed of the one fourth for the sun gear. And uh, planetary gear can use back and forth. I mean, uh, again, uh, fixing internal gear like this and give the input from number two carrier like this. Then you can see uh, fast moving sun gear like this. In this case, uh, uh, this case, uh, sun gear rotate four times faster than carrier. Like this. So this usage is good for power generator, uh, wind power generator, uh, wind power generator or water power generator. Usually. In the uh, input is very low, but uh, uh, if to generate electricity efficiently, the higher speed will be required. So, by using this way, uh, you can generate the electricity more effectively. Another uh, usage is fixing carrier like this. Fix, now I'm fixing carrier. Then the GIP. Uh, input, uh, uh, give the input from some gear like this. Then you can see, you can see internal gear rotate, internal gear rotate like this. On uh, the different direction, different direction. I'm rotating like this. Then the internal gear rotate different. This case, uh, this case and the speed ratio becomes Four from minus three. Minus means that different opposite direction. Minus three. And uh, this uh, usage is good to uh, derive the cylindrical things directly from the internal gear. Uh, you know the hoiling motor, you know the small mobility, electric small mobility. And some of small mobility employ the uh, hoiling motor. Uh, motor drive is set into the hoil, and this case, uh, this internal gear, internal gear can drive directly in a hoil like this. Of course, uh, this case also used in a back and forth like this. Uh, last one is fixing sun gear here and uh, give the uh, input from carrier. Then rotate the uh, internal gear like this. Uh, this case, the speed ratio is only 1.3, 1.3. This means the uh, speed difference between the carrier and the internal gear is very small, only 30% uh, lower speed. So because of the small difference, uh, this usage is rarely, rarely used. Again, uh, mm, by using the uh, planetary gear, uh, you can uh, apply several uh, drive usage. Okay, thank you, Fujita-san. Now we understand what is a planetary gear. Mm, Very well. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Okay. In the next video, mm. we will explain the features of Matex planetary gear. Yeah. The link will be just here. Those who are interested in our products, the email address is available in the description <laughs> below. Please contact us. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you to see in the next video. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.